The Dokkan battle community and arguments go hand in hand, and in most cases, a lot of them amount to almost nothing. But there are some people in the community that I think make very compelling arguments and generally know a lot about the game. I, I know a lot about the game. Leave right now! And one of those people is a little known somebody named Alan Dokkan. Now I know a lot of you guys hear the name Alan Dokkan and think of an unhinged individual, but yes, I generally think that he makes some pretty good arguments around the game. But we have an issue. Whenever ultimate gohan is in conversation it usually feels like alan dokkan has a bias and with the release of this brand new lr ultimate gohan that just came out a couple days ago you already know alan dokkan is throwing a fit on twitter so what is the argument even about well alan dokkan and i have been arguing for a little bit off of twitter on whether or not lr broly is better than lr ultimate gohan now to me i feel like it's a pretty cut and dry case of broly just being actually better than that character and i really don't think that there's any room for an argument there so this is more so just a video calling out Alan Dokkan and just like poking some fun his way. Anyway, let's get to the video. So just taking a look at Alan's feed, you can see that he's been talking about this Broly and Gohan stuff for a little bit now. And honestly, I've got to say, it's just... It's just like, it feels like rambling to me. He likes to talk about Gohan's active skill turn, which I mean, fair enough. He does do some pretty decent numbers on that turn, but Alan Dokkan makes this post and basically what he talks about is like 99% of the people complaining about Gohan are also complaining about the consistency within his super attacks. Now, for a lot of you who aren't a part of the Dokkan community, because I know there are a lot of people who come in here for the commentary content, Gohan has a 30% chance to launch a super attack. Two of them are 30%, one of them is a 70%, but Broly overall just has a higher percentage rate for all of the super attacks that he launches. So I don't necessarily think people are wrong in saying that it's really inconsistent for Gohan to get the super attacks that you want him to. And Alan Dokkan also says that he's not supposed to super four to five times a turn. And I mean, he hardly does, that's the point. I feel like if Broly can, which is my main argument, Broly is literally having access to what Gohan has, but he does it far easier and a lot more consistent than Gohan does. Anyway, if we scroll down further, we see somebody post the 55% calcs for both units, and if you look at it, it looks like Broly has a way higher attack stat than what Gohan does. Now, usually what APT does is they take average turns where characters launch multiple super super attacks, etc. They factor in support, whatever, like all the scenarios they really need to get the max attack stack from them. So at 55%, we see Broly at 87 million and then Gohan's max before his active skill turn is at 35 million. And even on the active skill turn at 55%, Gohan is doing 63 million. He's still 20 million below Broly's. And I want to let you guys know that Gohan doesn't have any crits built into his passive. Broly does. So overall, Broly is just going to be doing a lot more damage that turn than Gohan at 55%, which is a fact. We see that here. And then Vector asks a pretty good question. Why not just use their 100% calcs instead of the 55%? And Alan says something I think pretty silly. He says, probably because they contradict his point. Now, LR Ultimate Gohan is at 65 million APT on turn five, while Broly is sitting at a staggering 137 million. But to be fair, that is before we factor in Gohan's active skill turn. And even if we do, Broly is still a whole 17 million above Ultimate Gohan. Now keep in mind, he's able to crit and everything else like that. Overall, Broly is outperforming this character. There is literally no denying that. Now, admittedly, I'm not very experienced when it comes to APT. I try and stay away from it because I genuinely do not care. But when it comes to a unit like Ultimate Gohan, whose role is to do damage and actually is just meant to do that, and support when there is somebody in the top 10 who can do that far easier and way more consistent than gohan can i feel like you're allowed to say that that character is better than the new one anyway this is just me throwing shade at alan I, he's been complaining about broly's flaws and whatever ever since gohan released and comparing the two i just didn't think they were close and i wanted to say something about it we're gonna have debate this friday i, I think hopefully if things go well and we'll talk about it more there so go check that out with that said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.